Hey everyone, this is Lynn from Create Whimsy. And today what we're going to do is we're going to make Scandinavian fabric stars that look like this. And I started with some with four fat quarters. And you can see I got four holiday influenced fat quarters that kind of go together. Um, I really like this color scheme together. But you can use all one fabric or two fabrics or four fabrics. You can use three two if you'd like. So start by cutting a two inch strip of fabric. Um, from your either piece of fabric or from your fat quarter. Then from the two inch square of fabric, what you're gonna do is you're going to open it, you're gonna press it in half, and then once you've pressed it in half, you're gonna press it in like this, and then again like this, okay? So that you've got like a double fold um, piece of fabric. And with the magic of video here we go here's our four scraps now to make this from a two inch this is twice as much fabric as we need so um one strip from a fat quarter from four fabrics will make two fabric star ornaments so i just kind of fold it in half here that one's not quite even there we go and it, we've got plenty of fabric here with these two by about 11 inch strips so we'll just, it doesn't have to be exact, cut them in half. There we go. And we'll take these four to be able to make our fabric star. So let me get a little bit close up. There we go. Um, so I just start with one of them and you want to fold it till you have like that. And that's what, about two inches? Yep, well, about an inch and three quarters. It, you don't have to be exact because we're going to even it all out in the end. So you just fold that in half. Then take your next piece of fabric, whichever one you want next. Fold it the same, having that little gap. And just place it around that first one, like that. Because what we're doing is we're weaving that first base. See this base? We're going to weave the top and the bottom, and then we're going to make these star points. So then take your third piece of fabric and put it in and around like that. And we need to adjust the length again. And it's okay if we've got the selvage because remember we're tucking in ends and we're gonna be cutting off um, some ends. And then take your last piece. And this is the only one that's kind of tricky. So we're gonna put it, your third fabric inside that little loop. Then you're gonna take both ends and put inside this original loop from your first piece of fabric. Okay, seriously, this is the hardest part of the entire star. It's a super easy project. And then just kind of pull your ends together till you've got this nice little woven section. There we go, yay! And see how the short part is up on top? So now we're gonna flip it over, and you can start anywhere, but flip one, go in clockwise direction, flip two, flip three, and your fourth fabric, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip it under that first one again, just like that. Tighten it all back up again, not too tight, but just so you've got a nice little woven thing. You can see most of the ends are all about the same length, which is good. Um, this little bit that we're off, no big deal. So this is the big trick also. Now let's look at the end. See how this is narrow and this is fat. We always start folding our star from a fat side. So we'll take this one, we'll fold it in a 90 degree angle, flip it over, fold it in another 90 degree angle. So it looks like this, it's a star, full star point. We're gonna fold it in half. And then what I like to do is grab a little wonder clip and clip this for two reasons. One is it's gonna hold it before we have a chance to press it and start getting that firm. And also then it doesn't slip out as we're trying to do other things. Then take that end, slip it under, the skinny loop, because remember we start on the fat loop side and the other side is always the skinny side of weaving. Tighten that up just a little bit. Then I pull just a hair, trim really close. Don't cut through the top fabric. 
And see, you can see that right now. Let me get it a little bit closer. See how you can see the end right there? If we just pull this out just a hair, now it's tucked perfectly under there and you can't see it. Okay, so now we're ready to do the next one. So now the next one is ready because it goes a skinny side and a fat side. So see, here's the fat side, skinny side. So we're gonna do a right angle, flip it over, do another right angle, make it into a point, get our clip, clip our point, take our fabric and weave it under. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but this is super easy, no sew project. Pull it just a hair, trim it, and you're done. Now, fat side, skinny side, so we just go around. Basically, if you start in one fat side, if you just keep going round and round counterclockwise, it just makes it happen. Okay, we're on our third star point, our clip, tuck. Pull, trim, and we're done. Next one. What I love about this project is, yes, I did buy some specialty Christmas fabrics for it, for this to be able to show it to everyone. But you can make it from just scraps in your stash. All you need for this one is a finished size of about two and a half inches. So you need a two and a half, two inch by um, about, oh, 11 inches. You can go with 10 inches. You can see I trim off, like some of the patterns that you'll see out there for this, um, they cut it exact. And I had tried to do that and boy, it's kind of difficult because you don't have a long enough tail for when you're weaving this end in and you kind of have to poke just a little bit in. And I find that this makes a much neater finish to your star and you don't have to worry about it. So, okay, four are done. Five. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, let's, I really want that one a little bit folded better. So let me start from the fat side. There we go. Go. Still not happy with that fold. I didn't press it quite as well as I could have. Um, but now you can see, even though your folds aren't perfect and pressed right, it doesn't really matter. See, because it all gets hidden right under that little piece of fabric. There we go. Next one. This is number seven. These last couple are a little tight because we've already tightened them. Um, but you can get in there and if you need to, you can use you know, a little you know, chopstick or a corner turner or something like that to help you push that through. Okay. And the very last one. Okay, clip it, tuck it, trim it. Okay, there it is, all ready. And what I like to do is press it really good on both sides with a lot of steam and then let it cool before I take the clips off. And there is a finished ornament. So you can either, if you wanted to, you could tuck a little piece of ribbon in under one of these with a little bit of glue or a little bit of, um, or stitch it in. For these, I ended up, I'm using a um, heavyweight pearl cotton. It's a size five and, um, and doubling it up so that it gives just a lot of heft to it. I, I really liked this green with this. So I just kind of go
go like this, poke it through the fabric right on an end. I'm using a, a tapestry needle for this thread because it's so thick. And it is a, it's a little tough sometimes. There we go. So we've got the ends there. Go ahead and clip this end. Even them out. There we go. And then just make a little knot. And there is my ornament, ready to be hung on the tree. Here's a little close-up of it. So have some fun and enjoy it.